right, everybody, welcome to this episode of Race Face Spotlight. Once again, on this episode of Race Face Spotlight, we have someone from the North Carolina area in our studio this week, William Cox. Will, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing great, man. So this is your first Race Face Spotlight. So let's take a moment and sort of introduce everybody to you. How did you get started in racing? Where, where did you first start? So back in 2017, I went to the Michelin GT Challenge at VIR, and I was asking all the drivers how they got started in racing. And they said they got started in karting at 12, and I'm like, I'm 12. Yeah. So then we called up our friend Tom Long, and he got us in a kart, and that's where it all started. And you did a lot of racing last year. I think before this yes, year, Tom, you did some sort of over 60 races last year. What was that like doing that much racing in such a short amount of time? It was crazy, but it was really helping me get up to speed quick. So I was getting, I was doing all of the races that people that have done it for over two years have done. Uh -huh. So I was getting up to speed and sort being, of learning yes. the ropes. Yes. So what, what was that like? Because it's got to be a, a steep learning curve being around people who have been doing it yes, for it a long, long period of time. So what was it like sort of having to learn at that fast paced environment? It was a little bit crazy, but I worked out. I had my mental trainer with me alongside me and it basically just kept me calm throughout the whole process. And now talking about this year, you've sort of transitioned to the next step racing in legend cars and you've been racing all around sort of this year but your your bulk i think of your summer has been at charlotte motor speedway right. and as we're re filming this uh you're getting ready to head over there for practice yes. here today what has it been like racing the legend car just in general so the legend cars first like anything i've ever raced is a lot more fast paced it's happening so fast Lap times are only like in 16 seconds, so you're going around quick. Like, one minute you're on your first lap, the next minute you're on your 20th. Yeah, that, that's got to be a, a different sort of pace than, you know, racing in the carts. Yes, and, it is. and it's technical in its own sort of way. What right. have you sort of learned from racing the Legend car and how to deal with it? So I've learned that you really got to pass out of the corner. You got to use people a little bit. So it's a lot more aggressive. Yeah, and I think that's what I've learned too as well. You know, watching some of your races at the shootout this past, uh, these past couple weeks, it's been a really aggressive. You've got to be up on the wheel and right. at it all the time. You're racing in the Young Lions division at the summer shootout. How, how much fun is that to say, hey, I've raced at Charlotte Motor Speedway? It's very fun to say that. People definitely comment about it. Yeah, that's got to be yes. awesome. And Just you, seeing all the scenery <laughs> around you. It's, so, it's got to be so surreal. And, and Charlotte's not the only place you've raced at. You've done a, a couple other uh, tracks here and there, and you plan to do more. So yes. what has it been like racing at all those tracks? So that was one out of two of the non-bank flat tracks that I've raced. The other one is Anderson Motor Speedway in yeah. Anderson, South Carolina. Yeah, and, and what's different between Anderson, because you said it, it's, it's bank, between Charlotte Motor Speedway? How do you treat the two tracks different? So at Anderson, you can really roll the corner a lot faster, passing's a lot different. You can't really use people as much because they'll get them sideways. Yeah, and that's got to be so difficult to sort of traverse because you're basically like flipping a switch in your mind. So do you attribute that to the, the fast learning that you did last year in the, in the carts and, and stuff and yes. you're able to learn pretty quick? Yes. That's got to be so surreal. So now that we've talked about what you're doing currently, let's talk about where you want to end up. Where, what are your short-term goals, but also where are your long-term goals? So my short-term goals for right now is to definitely get the win mm -hmm. because so far I've only got third places. Yeah. So now I want to get up to that top step. Yeah. And then for my future goals, get anywhere I can. Yeah. That, that's got to be, I mean, you're still so young and you're so new to this racing thing, like you've said. So the third place finishes, I mean, you've got to be like, oh, I just want that win. But right. 
for the third places that you've had in racing in the competition you've had, it's actually been really well. And I kind of want to talk about the competition a little bit because there's a lot of different varying skill levels in, in your yes. division in Legends cars. So have you sort of looked at anybody or sort of talked to anybody in the garage? I mean, I know you're work, working with Farbo right. at, at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. What is, uh, and throughout your Legends car racing, yes. what has that been like working with that team? They're a really awesome team. They're one of the best out there, mm -hmm. and they really provide the car for me. We had a very unfortunate week last week. Yeah. Um, so where can people keep up with where you're racing? Where, what are your social medias? So I've got Instagram, Facebook, and I also upload to my YouTube channel. And, and what are those, just so people know? Uh, Will underscore Cox underscore three for Instagram, and then uh, William Cox, I'm pretty sure, for Facebook. And then the same thing for YouTube. All right. Well, well I want to thank you for taking the time to sit down with us and, and sort of explain your story. It's been pretty fun. So thank you for joining us here on Race Face Spotlight. Thank you. And that is it. That has been this episode of Race Face Spotlight. If you've missed any of our recent episodes, you can go catch up by going to raceface.tv on demand. I'm Chris Murdoch. Thanks for watching.